must be the Roco 2024 new releases catalog is now out. Come back after the titles and let's look at it together. Hey everybody, Anthony Dodge, the Mile Train Outsider, the Merkling Outsider, and today the Roco Outsider, here to look at the Roco HO and Narrow Gauge HOE new items catalog released by Roco Tuesday morning. So let's get into it. Well, right off the bat, probably the prettiest and sharpest uh, catalog cover we've had. Advertising one of their many railjet releases this year and this is the one i've got my eyes on the most it's expensive but i'm really looking forward to it it's the night jet we'll talk about it when we get to it just pause in here for a second roco has is celebrating here they have sold a hundred thousand models of the vectron the class 193 or whatever it's called in other uh nomenclatures but all the different variations here, this just kind of blew me away. I know they've released a lot of variations of the 193, but this picture really kind of hits you with it and new variations coming. All right, so let's get into it. Now, Roco uh, sets off their uh, catalog in the three categories of locomotives. Steam, and they've got a lot of steam, it looks like. Diesel and electric whichever order they do it, and then matching cars in those cases, and then any other special things like new startup sets and so forth towards the end. So let's get to it, a lot of them. Uh, because Rocco is an Austrian company, they start with the Austrian, and here we have a uh, 638, a P8, as uh, it's also known. Now, as we're looking at the catalog here, all the way across for me are the usual symbols. The EP is the era, so this is era three. Uh, the couplings, the processor it has uh minimum radius you should run this on so the minimum radius r2 and the lighting that it comes with and then down below are uh is uh you'll see where it says for example 03 2024 that's the quarter they're expected to release it so third quarter so that would be um august september well july august september that's expected release. And then the three different numbers because Roco releases much of their locomotive stock either as a basic, either analog or basic digital in two rail, DC as it's called there. DCC is digital in two rail and then AC. Now the AC version, the three rail, which is what I would be looking at, is always their most maxed out. They don't make low end stuff for three rail they if they're going to release it for three rail it's always going to be their higher end more expensive and best detailed models and that is usually matched by what they release in dcc and again in our nomenclature here dcc simply means digital and dc is usually your base analog usually not always it might be very simplistic digital and dcc is high end digital Okay, so that's what all that means on this page. Beautiful locomotive. So I'm just going to zip through these quick because I don't want to do another hour-long video. All right, and then a matching four-car set to go with that Zug. So these are Austrian passenger cars of the same era. This is one of the prettiest ones. This Belgian uh, is just gorgeous. I love this. This might be, might be my favorite steam locomotive in the catalog. This is just a beautiful... Um, it's a class 52 as it would be known in Germany. Uh, but again, just amazing. And this is due out at the end of the year. So if I, uh, I, I'm not going to order it, but it's, it really is pretty. I just like it. I, I don't know why it strikes me. Here's another one. I actually very like a Czech one. And I think this is just because it's very different from steam locomotives. I, I, I see because I'm not into steam locomotives, so the classes and everything else get me. But a Class 24, as it looked, 1919, if you read the little description. And again, I know this is in German, uh, and they give you a little story behind the locomotive in there, but there it is. And then 
some cool looking cars to go with it as well. Very, very cool looking. A couple of sets. You got a three car set and then a two car set. Then um, a Prussian, KPEV, that's the name for the Prussian State Railways in German terminology. And some matching uh, cars to go with it. A little T3, as they call it. Sort of a, I don't know, would that be classified as a shunting loco? But just a small duty little guy there. And here's another one. Uh, this is probably my second favorite one. It is uh, Germany before. Uh, between World War One, World War Two, so the German Federal Railways of uh, the Weimar Republic, I guess you could say. Uh, I I love this one. I think this is gorgeous as well. The Belgian one I think is prettier, but this is really cool. I really like this one. A class uh, eighty five, and then just a bunch more here. Uh, some of these I probably. Uh, I'm blocking some of this, so let me shrink my picture. You don't need to see me. But N, when you see an N next to it, that's Neu Construction. That means it's a new molding again. Each company has their own terminology that they'll use, but N is Neu Construction. Uh, this is an O23 for Germany, as you can see, so a 38 and a 23. And again, seeing one of them in prototypes in action. And then again, some matching car sets to go with either of those trains. Here is uh, a, a class 51 that uh, it says ran in the 50s and 60s. This is a class 51 as mentioned because of my BR50 I recently picked up that I like a lot and then all the variations of it and the generations that followed it, the 51, the 52 and so on. All right, <clears throat> now here where it says you are update, this is where it's a model they've released before and they are just altering it a bit. So as opposed to new construction, it's old construction that's been tweaked. And obviously they're leading off with a class 18. So again, this is uh, right after World War II. This is era three. Era three is uh, 19 post-World War II uh, into the late 60s. I like this for some of the streamlining effect. Obviously the color is very different than the traditional black and that. I really do like this locomotive. I would say this might be my third favorite after the green Belgian and then that grayish uh, one. I like this one a lot as well. Again, I'm not looking at buying any of these, but I can appreciate a really cool uh, scheme and style. Very sharp. And this is showing you some of the things they've upgraded on it. All right, so now a class 64, which is apparently just a re-release of a previously done model. And then another version, a class 52 that's updated. I like that class 52. Obviously similar because um, Merkling in their catalog is also releasing a class 52. And then there is the Zwickauer Traditionszug. So uh, sort of a heritage line, if you want to call it. So a heritage train. And here's the loco. It is a class 50. <laughs> and uh, that train. And then the cars that go with the Zwickau uh, Traditionszug. A French class, uh, what they call a class uh, 230 up there. And again, I don't know my French nomenclature at all. I'm sure people will fill in. And then a little uh, passenger wagon. This is... Uh, Era 3, so this is right after World War II. Again, into the 60s. Very cool looking. I like it. Um, those cars are kind of interesting, but again, not my era, not my thing. And then this little Italian guy. <laughs> this 999, a little 060, I believe. All right, so Noi Form Variant. So this is... They don't call it Neue Construction, it's Neue Form Variant. So this is, they've taken a model they've released and they've altered it significantly, but it's still a basic mold that they've offered a bit. You know, there's update and then there's Neue Form Variant. That's not saying it's N scale. This is all HO. And so they're showing how they've altered this variant compared to previous releases of this train. And this is basically, uh, if I'm understanding it, was it a class 50 or class 52, 
that is updated for the Polish system uh, post-war and through the 70s. So again, sorry to keep calling you out, Mark, but uh, another Polish theme local that this would go with some of your older PKP stock. Gorgeous. I, I just, the additional little red lining and trim on it with the gold lettering just makes it stand out to me a bit more than the all blacks and so forth. So this is just an amazing, amazing uh, Lee Sharp loco. I really like it a lot. And some passenger cars to go with it. And again, you can pause these to look at it more. And some additional uh, Güterwagen that can also go with that locomotive or would have followed because obviously in many cases they would have mixed some passenger cars with some freight behind it. All right, so now we're done with the steam. Let's get into the electrics. Okay, so we start off again. They always start with Austria, then Germany, then everybody else. So here is a class 1046, uh, or actually I think it's a 4061. But uh, Era 4, a little bit, uh, it's not quite a rail car, but boy, it sure hits me as a rail car. But you get the idea, little locomotive there. Not my era to really give you much about beautiful layout scenery there. And then a class, um, a 1670. And then the famous Jaffa or Jaffa Express train. Which was a uh, federal or a state uh, high speed train, express train, so far. So the locomotive that goes with it at 1042. I do like the coloring on this better than if it were just that plain green. I like this coloring a little better than the previous two that are all in similar style. And then the matching car set. And again, this is Era 4, so this would have been 70s, early 80s. But a very cool car set for that era. It it says 70s to me. And then a couple of other locomotives that also would have worked the line. So uh, a 1043 and 1144. And then gotta always have another Taurus era six, uh, another Taurus an E64 unit. But I just call them the Taurus. And then you can have 1016, 1116, and 1216. This is a 1216. And that uh, another 1142 or 1140 series uh, down below. All right, so here we go, the night jet. So here is the Taurus. There is also a Vectron version that uh, Roco released last year to go with their night jet cars, uh, including the set that they're releasing now. But again, these are those proprietary um, connection that I'd coupling or I shouldn't say odd but that digital coupling the pin coupling uh but I've got the adapters for it so I'm happy with that but very sharp very sharp and this is probably going to go on my wish list and I will probably break down and buy it but again I would need cars for it and the problem is the cars and here they're showing some of the new because they've released night jets before but this is some of the new additions they're adding and here's the rake of cars and they're selling this as a a one car set so and it is based on prices of what they've already announced with their rail jets it's going to be expensive it's more expensive than any rail jets I've ever bought I really would like this train now this actually has the uh, control cab the Steuerwagen uh, in the Vectron ending shape that it matches the Vectron but to be honest I'd rather have the traditional ending but I will get this but I'd still rather have the Taurus than the Vectron I just, I think the Taurus looks cooler than the Vectron, especially in the night jet shape. That's a personal taste. They're all gorgeous. Two more Vectron liveries here, all Era 6, Class 193s as I know them, and Germany and Austria call them the 193, but other countries do give them slightly different numbers. And now, some new construction. Fair and Fair Cares, long distance Doppelstockzug, the double-decker train. So this is an all-new construction. And it is a Swiss one, and this is gorgeous. But um, this is a very expensive car set. I do not remember what they announced it was going to cost, because they actually announced some of these uh, towards uh, Christmas time, fall and Christmas time uh, last year, within the last three months. This is going to be an expensive train. Uh, I like it. I think it's gorgeous not going to show up on my layout. 
All right, a couple of uh, Swiss locomotives finally, a couple of electric Swiss here. Uh, and, um, you know, take them with you. I've never thought these were that cool looking, but they, they are very much Swiss and a lot of people love this. Again, I know I will get some hate mail for saying I don't like the looks of these locomotives, but it is what it is. It's a personal taste. It doesn't mean they're not cool looking. It doesn't mean they're not highly detailed and beautiful by Rocco. Now, the Rocco 460s, those I like. I like the 460s here. So a couple of very, um, I shouldn't say a couple of variations. It is the same thing, two different sides, summer and winter. Here is an E64 that is called an E64. It's not called a Taurus in this case. But for Hoopa, I like that one. A Class 186, the same as the Class 186 workhorses in Germany. Um and I, I think, yeah, I have a class 186. Uh, I, I really like that Hupak livery on that E64, but no, not going. The rail pin with uh, two different sides on it. I do like the one uh, side that they show in slightly smaller version. Very cool looking. And here it is pulling some uh, tankers. Here we go. I like this Vectron. Another Vectron. <laughs> but uh, just adding to their collection. And they, there's another one in here that I'm going to talk about, though. And the standard RE620 uh, for Swiss Cargo. Uh, again, I, I do like the livery on there. I, uh, the Swiss Cargo livery is very striking with that red and blue. Unterwegs in Cisalpino. So this is a uh, the Cisalpine uh, Express. And so there is the 484 locomotive, which uh, I forget what German locomotive. It's basically the same as. Very cool locomotive. Again, I don't do Swiss. These are very sharp cars that go with it. Two, three um, car sets that come out, different car sets. And these are coming out like now, very soon. A couple other standard Swiss. There's another 420, the 420s, 440s, 460s, uh, all, you know, variations of a common theme. Uh, a 485, again, very cool looking locomotive there. And there is a real one. That's why I like about Rocco. They often will put a lot of pictures of the actual prototypes that their models are based on in their in their uh, catalog and here's a 421 i'm sort of meh about this one and it is current era too it kind of looks old and look roco is releasing another check um railjet another taurus and a special three car set to go with this particular one and then advertising a new, never done before, uh, class 469, an old class 469 check. So this would be your 70s and 80s, still the um, communist era of the Czech Republic. Obviously a freight hauler. And look, another Vectron. This one, a Czech Vectron. Kind of cool, digging it. And another, a... 144 electric, a BR-144. The old, again, the old German railway, uh, a 144. Era 4. All right, here is a double. You get two of these. It's a two-piece set. It's a double 151. And this is obviously the German Ocean blue and beige but uh, I think it's cool that they're doing a double 151 um, makes it easy to consist and to go with it you can get a rake of ore cars ore wagons hoppers and picture of this model in action and this model has been released before this is just a re-release of it and again the ore cars the Hispania Express. And, oh, look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous uh, 
little model there. It is a class 103. So really, I don't know why this one looks just, uh, I love the Rheingold and the TEE 103s, but this one just looks a little cooler. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that silver stripe down the middle or what, uh, because of course, Merklin is releasing a very similar painted, except it's not the, um, you know, it's this livery, but it's not the Hispania. And then some cars to go with it. And the traditional uh, green and blue. And then another three car set that would go with it. So it starts at Hamburg and runs all the way down to Pult Blue through Switzerland all the way down. And another three car set. So a lot of cars to go with it. So you've got nine cars. Three, three car sets. Okay, back to some more general re-releases. So you got a Class 110 locomotive from Era 5. So again, Era 5 would be mid-80s to 2000, 2005, early 2000s. But um, it's a Class 112, which have all... Well, you guys all know I just recently picked up a, a 111 and 112. And some interesting cars to go with it with the green stripes uh which i've i've always liked this livery but it always definitely says before my time arrow wise and what i tend to collect but i this draws me more interest because of having studied all that about the prototypes in my video when i was talking about my new class 111 a couple of more knocker cares or the n wagon as they're called cars cool livery cool enough kind of silver and then here we go we've got a german class 141 again the traditional 141 and then the sort of uh german class 180 but that was an older and i want to and again i'm trying to learn and i think the 180s were an east german model converted into the um United. It's one of the, when Germany reunited, this was like a 280 in East Germany and it got numbered 180 to go with the West German nomenclature when, when the countries reunited. Um, I could be totally wrong there. But again, that's basically the same locomotive as my three Czech 371 that I was running in my live stream last Friday. Okay, here we go. Uh, a All we know is that it's a Class 101. They don't even have a uh, specific livery shown, but that it's going to be something to do with Fartziel Natur, uh, Destination Nature. And then here's a Class 185, another workhorse, a D.B. Schenker workhorse. Uh, I do want a 185, and maybe I could get a 185 that is not in red. You know, I always think of 185s, you know, as, you know, German, Deutsche Bahn, and I always think of them in red first. But, you know, as long as I got a 185, I'll kind of wait and see uh, what Merklin might release in the next year or two. I won't jump on it. And then here's a cla couple of class 155s. You can see a rail pool. And a bond service. I do like that livery down there. That's kind of cool. That would be kind of a cool locomotive. I, I don't know if I like the locomotive in terms of overall architectural, mechanical style, but uh, I like that livery. That livery is very cool. Now, here's one of the other Vectron I was going to talk about. So here, here's a basic one. Vectron, Siemens, just a sort of generic there. Maybe it was the model um, where they showed, hey, here's the Vectron uh, before it was distributed to companies everywhere. But the one below is very interesting because this is the same locomotive I have. I have that class 193 and it says uh, with the power of 8,500 horses. So 8,500 horsepower Vectron locomotive. And it, so it's got that herd of horses on it. But instead of the black background that I have highlighted in gray, it's the white, it's a white background with that same horse livery. So I don't know, does that one look better than my black one? I don't know. You could clearly see its horses better. <laughs> I'll put it that way, but I do like my black one. 
All right, a class 189 and another class 186. And there you can see that model. So this model is either already done because they're running it on this layout here or it's just a re-release. All right, here's a 386 Metrons. And that's your cross border. You can tell by the number of panographs, if anything else, but also the nomenclature 386. Another Vectron. What are we up to? Seven, eight more to add to their already... I wonder how many variations of the Vectron they've released. It's popular, so they're just gonna they're they're going to the well here. All right, now we move into France. So a nine three three eight and a seven two nine zero. I just this style of French locomotive or these two styles. I see these a lot, and my friend Tom he loves these, and I just I don't dig them. You know, they're classic French, and it's nothing against French. It's just me. I, they, they just hits like 1950s furniture style, I, and it's just not something I dig. I, I, I apologize if that offends anybody, but, it, you know, it's opinion. And another class, 185. I don't know if I like that livery, and besides it's French, so it's not going to work its way to my layout anytime soon. And a couple of Italians. A, a Italian uh, E412, but isn't that also a 185 or... See, again, I don't know. So I'll just let you stare at the models. And a E656. Cool livery. Again, very popular train among many collectors that I watch that, st that style. And there we see it in action, that Mercatalia. All right, now continuing on with the styles I'm not really into, we have a Danish. Um, no, I'm sorry, Swedish. My apologies, Swedish. I don't know why I said Danish. Uh, maybe because I was looking at the red and white of the locomotive. Uh, but yeah, this is Swedish. Big red Swedish. Again, cool livery. Really striking. It grabs your eyes. And a Dutch. And I'll probably take a little flack for that. But it's a Series 1600. At 1600s, from what I understand, are very popular in the Dutch modeling community. And very popular or used quite a bit in in the Netherlands, but again, just the 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 architectural design, the mechanical design is not there. And speaking of Dutch, we got an Era Three big dude here. I like the cars. You know, the funny thing is, when I look at the locomotive, I'm like, eh. But I look at the cars, and I like that color with the cars, with the two-tone, but on the locomotive, and again, part of it's the design of the locomotive itself. I'm just like, meh. Oh, here you go. This is very cool. Uh, obviously, Era 6. And there's more to it. It's a, it's a split picture here, so they'll give us more detail. But it's a V466. I do like that. That's just... Uh, that's very cool. I like that uh, idea. Um, a class 1619. Again, the 1600s. Very cool livery. Not anything I'm specifically digging uh, in terms of style locomotive. And I haven't done Dutch railways. And so here's more of it. And you get the rest of the information on it. But I do like that little really sort of a rail car or, or a uh, EMU. All right. And we haven't forgotten Poland. So how about a Polish Vectron? PKP car cargo and here's a couple of them in action for you and you can't go too far without a couple of those in uh so another new uh form variant so re-release swedish again and this is a double this is a two set which i just i think it's cool you get two locos not for the price of one but you get two locos so they're already preset main unit dummy unit or uh I, I don't know if they are both powered, and it doesn't say here. And there'll be more information to come when they come out again. And some ore cars to go with it. So a couple of sets, uh, two sets of uh, ore cars to go with it. And if you haven't had enough uh, Vectrons, at the bottom we get a Slovakian Vectron. Budomar. <laughs> and that's uh, the Slovakian so again, very cool. 
And we still got more locos to go because we haven't looked at diesel. All right, so going into diesel, we start right into Austria. We've got a 2043. And then you got the little, uh, really, 040, little two rail um, little locomotive, the 2062. Got that. Uh, I do like this one. Uh, this is um, not Slovakia. This is Slovenia. Yeah, we got a diesel locomotive 2016, so that's kind of a diesel version of a uh, E64, but it's diesel, you know, the Taurus. Uh, Adria Transport here, so kind of cool. Um, and then a couple of Czech uh, pre-independence, uh, pre-Cold War ending, but uh, you got a couple of Czech locos here, 752 and a 478. And quite a bit of Czech stock here in Roko, whereas uh, Merklin was doing a lot of Polish. Uh, Roko doing a lot of Czech this year. Now, they are an Austrian company. Czech is a big neighbor, but they're really putting a lot out here. Update, new form variations. Very cool looking uh, rail car, diesel Triebswagen, DMU. Another class 750 for the Czech Republic. And then a modern era little rail car, the 650. Again, a DMU. And that's the fourth variation they've released of that. I've got that exact model, but in the Deutsche Bahn Regio livery. And they've released it in three other liveries, counting this one, the Czech livery here. All right, so a little Czech shunter. Uh, very interesting uh, 311 from uh, Era 2. I can't tell you much more about it. Uh, this says it was built 4142, or at least the, this variation of it. And then same thing in a slightly different, they call this a V188 and a D31, but you can see it's the same general idea as you flip back and forth between them. All right, and they are releasing an classic 120 with all kinds of new details they want to highlight for you very sharp uh again i don't the the general style of this i'm not super keen on uh but it is a 120 deutsche reichsbahn which is what east german railway was called so this is an east german locomotive all right so uh a v100 sort of a very common shunter uh in its day and then there is a class 118, which would become a 218 later on, but obviously a very early and different variant than what we have now. And the infamous, uh, I think this is the one that is also becomes known as the Ludmilla as a 232, but this is the East German variation. But, all right, a couple of uh, rail units, a DMU, uh, older era and there's another now notice they called a v121 there but it really isn't any different than the 650 that i was just talking about and there is another variation of it, the 650 they're all the same if you go back and look at this one here so that's what two more so what are we up to six variations of the 650 now, this one I'm slightly intrigued in. Uh, this is a 218 celebrating part of the celebration of um, the 75 years of the Inner City Express, or not the Inner City Express, the IC. And uh, they did do this. They took a couple of 218. This is interesting because it is a... Um, uh, it's in full IC livery. But no, I, I, I don't see myself breaking down and buying it. And then here is another 218 that Roco is releasing. And it's a specialty um, number here. But it, it's they just released the 218 last year that was so problematic. And here they're releasing it in red again. So I wonder if that's connected. Uh, very cool here. Um, this is that Rail Adventures, which... Uh, I've gone years without seeing this Lexon luxury rail train. Never heard of it. And all of a sudden, 
Pico, River Rossi, and Mirkland now, and now Roco are all releasing various aspects of it. Very interesting. And there's that BR650, which, as I mentioned, they released last year. So did Merklin. And so that's technically not a new livery. And, uh, yeah, they're saying quarter two, so they must have had a delay issue with it because it was supposed to come out when I ordered my my Roco 650, which, I've got, which I got middle of last year. All right, so here is a big French... You can read for yourself an A1, AA1A6850. A, That's a big fella. At least it looks like it's going to be big. And I don't know anything about it. And some cars to go with that. All era four. So again, post-war into the uh, late 60s. And here are some other ones. The... Uh, CC 720, uh, 7200 series, or I should say 72,000 series, 72,000. Um, again, neither of these strike me mechanically. Uh, you have a Hungarian version down below, so uh, modern era Hungarian, the Magyar, as it's called, and some Hungarian cars to go with it, and a picture showing it in action. So again, uh, Hungary actually has some cool looking trains this is a modern era joyce and i do plan someday to get over to budapest uh we're just hoping certain political things in hungary settle down before we go over there they're having very extremist um things going on and a little polish rail worker that's kind of cool isn't it and here is a this is slovakian um so just very cool looking class 761 which looks very similar to some other locomotives we've uh seen in this just different countries have different nomenclatures and i can't keep up with it all all right so another slovakian uh little shunter here an 080 and then a couple of dutch little guys here little diesel service locomotives and then your startup set so some startup sets to look at so here is an interesting startup set, which is a era four German railway uh, construction line with a with a small crane, and you get there um, a startup. You get the basic Z twenty one with this, the startup Z twenty one. There's three versions of the Z twenty one, and this is the lowest version. Uh, you get a little Austrian one, which. Uh, is an era six a modern era so you get the um you get a taurus and two passenger cars and they're releasing additional sets uh that they'll show in a minute a christmas train which is analog this is pure analog and it comes with a couple of extra cars there and i could put those cars on my christmas train i don't think they'd be out of place on it so it's kind of cool and then here are some add-on car sets that are coming. So they'll show you the locomotive and then the car sets that they're releasing to go with them, whether individually or as a set. So like this four-car set right here, they're going to um, highlight in a second. And then some of the freight cars and that that they're going to release to go with these things. And they will show the freight cars up close in a minute, but just showing you some of the um, combinations you can make. So Personenwagen, passenger cars. So here's that four car set um, for an IC, uh, but they call it the city shuttle. And uh, these go back and forth between, you know, like uh, Vienna, Salzburg, uh, even though they're ICs, they don't really cross the border. I'm kind of interested in this. And these light up, these light up. And I was hoping they, they would make an AC version of it. But from my looks at it, they are not making an AC version of it. But I've really got enough as it is add-on car and then here is a new version of there it's an update so it's basically they're just reissuing it with new running numbers and so forth but your, your typical uh swiss uh pendle zuga uh inner city regional and then the different cars that will come with it the stadt express from the old, I believe this was East German. Yeah, Leipzig, Berlin, and back to Leipzig. Dresden, Berlin, Dresden. 
you see that you can get three different logos you can actually put on the trains. All right, so here are some other ones. Uh, you got the Deutsche Eichsbahn. So again, this would be East German passenger cars and so forth. The three axle and even two axle cars. Neue Konstruktion. So they are releasing Regiobahn Dostockwagens. They don't have any pictures, but they're redoing them. Uh, this is the S-Bahn in Dresden, which means I've ridden this. But I've got two sets of Dostok. I don't think I need any more. But the VVO is kind of cool. There's there's something to like here. But uh, they are releasing an AC version. And I wonder if this is just the uh, more of the stuff they got from Hobby Trade and the other company that they're re-releasing and just putting a new scheme on them. Uh, and Alex Double Decker. And from what I understand, the Alex Double Deckers are now out of service. They're, they're, Alex is pulling them, at least from certain routes. The They're pulling their Double Deckers. Uh, a metronome. First time I've seen a metronome locomotive uh, released in a th three, four years. Uh, so a nice little metronome. I'm happy with my metronome. And so don't need to update, but it is cool if somebody likes it. And they are releasing a new set of cars to go with it. So a three car set and then a two car set to make the full five car set. Although you'll see that there's actually a an additional single car set. So they're making it a six car set. I find that a little interesting so one two three four yeah so it's a six car set metronome apparently is expanding or it's a way to cut lines by just adding one car or maybe their business has grown they've decided to start adding but uh, that's a little interesting that's a six car set hmm have to look into that all right and because of the celebrations of the IC and they're releasing that IC. Here we go. So you get a new Steuerwagen, which is kind of cool. Uh, they are releasing an AC version of it. And the thing is, if all these cars are in fact lit, it's a temptation because I've always wanted to light my ICs and I could pay almost the same amount of money to light all my ICs as it would be to buy these car sets so you've got a three car set you've got the steuerwagen a three car set and a four car set to make the complete eight car set that's a temptation i'll see what it costs because i'm really looking at the night jet and i can only do one so i'm probably leaning towards the night jet and some more polish passenger cars and some more polish passenger cars and now the goods wagons so a lot of Austrian, various things. And again, the eras, the EP is just the era. So you can pause and look at these more. Just general ideas, some really cool. And again, I'm not big into freight, so I'm more likely to go through these faster than others. Uh, more Austrian at the top. I like that. That Those colors just get me. That might be one that, just to add to my container wagon, eh, that might pop up, even though it's Austrian and not German. You know, they cross borders. Uh, Kesselwagen or tankers. Um, down there, Austrian, and then Belgian, some more Belgian stuff. They started off with a bit of Belgian, and now a little bit more Belgian with the sliding, uh, the telescoping tops. Some more uh, Selbst Entladewagen, self emptying uh, ore cars, hoppers. These are all Swiss. That's an interesting little semi. Uh, deep bed and the actual picture of it you know hey we got a picture of it let's show it to you some more Kesselwagen tankers uh for france another swiss uh vtg uh the shiba planenwagen so the tarp car and some czech from different eras so you got well actually they're all era four aren't they well there you go era six or the Schwenk Dachwagen, but again, to me, they're all just sort of hoppers, tankers, you know. Another tarp car, Sheba Wagen, and then an auto transport for the Czech Republic. So again, really a lot of Czech stuff, a lot of Czech stuff this year, a little bit more than normal, or quite a bit more than normal. All right, some uh, German uh, pre-World War II, pre, you know, after World War One 
up to the end of World War II uh, stuff here. And again, if that's your thing, cool, cool looking cars. And a few more same ideas, but era three and era four and auto transport. And then your uh, double tie, a double drain with your uh, chemical tankers. Um, and again, vari variations of hoppers here going through different eras, your um, coil flatbeds. And again, somebody's got, that's not what they're called. I know. Lots of German stuff. Taschenwagen. <laughs> I like these. I do like both these. Um, I really like the DHL ones because I saw some from Mahano and Joyce really liked them. There were three separate rakes they had, and one of the rakes was one of them was the DHL. I bought the um, Max Bogo. Uh, saw these with Max Bogo. And just all kinds. You could make a whole DHL train, couldn't you? French, Hungarian, Italian, Dutch. More Dutch all the way through. A lot of Dutch stuff here. And some more Polish stuff to add to it. There you go. Lots of Polish stuff. Man, this has been the year for Poland, Merklin, and now Roko in their freight uh, area. It is showing a lot of Polish Romanian. There's an odd one. Romanian way over there. A Romanian tanker. Of course, Ro Romania is uh, famous for its oil. Or maybe it's not famous for its oil. Um, and then, again, you've got Sweden. Uh, S Slovakian. And then, this year, they're offering a wide range in narrow gauge. So I'll just pop through this quickly. We're almost done. Some Austrian narrow gauge trains. That's Schmalspiel, narrow gauge, H-O-E. But this is all narrow gauge. And a little narrow gauge train set. Again, it's kind of cool. I like the cars. Again, the Loco... Just a little too boxy, whatever, but uh, it's a cool looking set. All right, so that was a look at the 2024 Roco HO and HOE narrow gauge catalog. New items for 2024. Real quickly, uh, some people asked me after the last couple of uh, catalog videos, like, what about the other scales? I don't do the other scales because I'm not looking at the other scales. Um, if you're into N scale, I think Pico has N scale and they also do TT and just Pico, TT, Pico, N scale. Merklin does um, N scale under their Trix brand name. So just look under Trix N scale, although I think they still officially call the N scale line mini Trix. But anything Merklin's going to release in N scale is under the Trix banner. Trix is the two rail version of of Merklin. So when you look at the Merklin HO catalog, it will also say available in Trix. I think they release an abbreviated version of Trix because in the Trix name, they will occasionally release models that not that they don't release under the Merklin name. They do release some Trix models that are only available as Trix. And so they do release sort of a Trix catalog that has the special HO Trix and uh, the N scale. So just look that up, mini tricks or tricks, and then their end scale if that's what you're into. Roco releases, I shouldn't say Roco releases, the company that owns Roco and Fleischmann releases end scale under the Fleischmann name. Now, up until around 2018, right around there, give or take a year, 2018, they released everything. Fleischmann was one company, Roco was another, and they were both owned by the same company. And they would release the Fleischmann HO and N scale stuff and Roco HO and N scale stuff. So before 2018, you could find some Roco N scale. So if you're looking old time, you could go back. But around 2018, the corporation just decided to streamline and they made Roco the HO stock, Fleischmann's the N stock, and then Roco also does TT. And I don't think Roco releases larger scales. They're H-O-T-T, -T, and then Fleischmann is the N-scale name. So, And the company that owns both 
uh, ha owns the molds to both. So Roco will release Fleischman, old Fleischman molds under the Roco name now. And then <laughs> they some of their old Roco stock that was N scale, they release under N scale. But anyway, I'm just trying to show this uh, what's available to me and I'm sharing it with you. And of course, 99.999% of what I've shown you in these three catalogs, I will not be buying. But if you collect European stock, well, you probably looked at the catalogs yourself already. But I'm showing it to you. Maybe you see something you didn't see or you stick to one company and now you say, oh, wait, that's over there. So I babbled. And this is an hour long video because this was the longest catalog of all. So I'm going to say, obviously, choose happy trains. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Mm -hmm.